Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and I will show you how to actually make a bootable Windows 11 uh, USB thumb drive. The same can be done with Windows 10 in exactly the same fashion. You will require a piece of software known as Rufus that you download from the internet. Because the bootable um, or the USB thumb drive Windows that the media creation tool actually creates doesn't necessarily boot on most computers. It gives you an access to a setup within Windows, but if you want to have the boot capability on a system that has secure boot and all of that, you have to create it in a specific way. So the first thing to do is download your image of Windows. I'll share the link to this. Here is where you get it. You go down and to download disk image. You select your edition, you click the download button, and it will actually let you want to choose which version exactly do you want to have. So you choose which one you want. Confirm, it's going to download the image in the download folder. The download is done. The next thing you'll need to do is download Rufus by clicking here. Rufus 3.18 as of today right now is the version and this is a standalone executable that once you run will have this little menu when this menu appears what you need to do is select your USB thumb drive that needs to be plugged in one USB ports it will show up as a device choose the image that you want to use so I'm going to use my Windows 11 English International here open once that is done, image option, standard Windows 11, TPM2 plus secure boot, GPT parti partition scheme, and target system UEFI. This needs to be like that, absolutely. In the advanced drive properties, you need, um, not, high, not advanced drive, sorry, and uh, advanced format options. You need to make sure that it create extended label and icon files. That needs to be an option. Once that is done, once you have chosen all of this, you click Start. That Start is going to ask you, say, all of the data on your USB thumb drive is going to be destroyed. You click OK. And it's going to start doing and creating the USB thumb drive. Once that thumb drive is done, you will have Close as an option. And your USB drive will have Windows 11 or if you tried with Windows 10, a Windows 10 bootable thumb drive that you can use to start a fresh new setup of Windows 11 or 10 on your PC. The only thing left after that is possibly telling your PC what bootable device to choose from. If you already had Windows on the hard, main hard drive, for example, you might need to press a key at startup that's going to tell the computer, no, no, boot from the USB drive, don't boot from the main drive, and so on. In the BIOS, there's a place to also change this. And from there, you should be able to do a full setup of Windows on your computer. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.